Every single country and culture across the globe has its own rich history of literature. We will take you on a brief whistle-stop tour of each continent and their most well-known genres, hoping that this will inspire you to explore a particular continent or country that you know little about through the wonderful world of reading. The best thing is you you won't need to quarantine afterwards, as this is a virtual one. Yay! Virtual passports ready? Masks on? Let's go! First stop is Asia, land of Indian myths and origin stories like those of Rudyard Kipling's. Magical Japanese stories about ninjas, geishas, and the famous text, The Tale of Genji, dating back to the 11th century. There are many famous Russian authors, including Tolstoy, author of War and Peace, and Dostoyevsky, who wrote Crime and Punishment. Spirituality and religion are often key themes in Asian literature. Next up is Africa where spoken storytelling, also known as oral literature, has traditionally been the main way of communicating narratives about tribal histories and beliefs. In sub-Saharan Africa, written storytelling is more popular as these countries have been influenced by European practices. Many myths and legends influenced by ancient traditions are found here. Many modern authors write about the aftermath of slavery aftermath of slavery and sent positive messages about independent Africa. Nelson Mandela's autobiography, The Long Walk to Freedom, is, is also a widely read text with inspirational message about preserving against the odds. Down to the freezing climate of the poles with our next continent, Antarctica. As you might imagine, given that the average temperature is minus 57 degrees Celsius, we have no authors born in this continent. There have been books, however, written about the explorers, Scott, Amundsen and Shackleton, and their battles with hostile yet spectacular environments in this world, part of the world. The dangers of the Southern Ocean and the sheer surreal beauty of the ice have dazzled sailors, explorers, writers and cruise passengers for two centuries. Let's see in the Southern Hemisphere and pop all the three we are at or Oceania. The natives of this continent were Aboriginal tribes who lived here and their culture was also one of oral, oral stories telling about how the world came into being. Like Rabbit Proof Fence follows the story of three mixed race Aboriginal girls torn from their mother and sent miles away as part of the government policy to integrate them into white society. The main theme in Aboriginal narratives is the land journey of the ancestors. Traditional songs are very often associated with dance and storytelling, gesture and mind. Let's go across the ocean now to North America, a land of famous authors such as Margaret, Margaret Atwood, John Steinbeck and Harper Lee. Major themes in literature of Northern America include the American dream, um, relationships with nature and society, isolation and survival of the fittest. Charlotte's Web, Dr. Seuss and his Cat in the Hat and Percy Jackson series are just some of the most popular kids' books to come out of this continent in modern times. Let's travel down past the Caribbean with its rich poetry and literature and head into the Amazon rainforest and into South America, where most literature here is written in Spanish, Portuguese and often other indigenous languages. Some folk tales and origin stories are popular here and the stories are often packed with colourful descriptions of the beautiful natural landscape and people. Back now to the continent we all call, call home Europe. Home to Icelandic and Scana Scandinavian families, sagas and histories, dark fairy tales of the brothers Grimm and Hans Christian Andersen, the magical world of Hogwarts, Harry Potter, and the myths and legends of ancient Greek and Roman. We, we hope, hope you enjoyed the tour, tour and that next time you pick up a book, you might try to travel to a new land. land.